Well, a print shop in Kentucky is under siege tonight because its owner, who's a Christian, doesn't want to endorse a gay pride event. Blade, Blaine Adamson is the founder and owner of Hands On Originals. It's in Lexington, Kentucky. In 2012, he declined to print a series of gay pride t-shirts for an upcoming gay pride festival. He says he serves gay customers all the time. He even employs gay employees, but he doesn't want to print materials that conflict with his religious beliefs. And for that, he spent the past five years in court. Lane Adamson joins us tonight, along with Kristen Wagoner of Alliance Defending Freedom, the legal group, the biggest in the world, doing this kind of work. They're representing him in court. Welcome to you both. Hey, thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank, thank you for coming on. So, Blaine, uh, the obvious question first, you say that it's not a question of disliking gay people, but that you have a relig religious uh, problem with this. Explain that, if you would. Absolutely. I'll, I'll print for anybody. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what message. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are, what your belief system is. What matters is what message you're asking me to print. And at Hands On right. Originals, we've shown over the history of our company that we employ gay employees and, and we also print uh, for gay, gay people. It, it just depends on the message that they ask us to print. And one specific example, the very Pride Festival that we had the issue with, there was a lesbian band called Mother Jane, and we printed shirts for them for that event. It, again, it wasn't because they performed at the event. It wasn't about who they are. It was about what messages were being asked to print. And we find that we have to decline messages often because of my convictions. So you, it, it has here in your bio that you've declined to print shirts you thought were anti-Christian, but you've also declined yes. to print messages you thought were anti-gay. Absolutely. Um, one in particular was a shirt that just said homosexuality is sin. And it was a pastor. And, you know, for me, I just don't think Jesus would have gone about, about it that way. You know, Jesus was a master of balancing grace and truth. And so my conscience did, just didn't feel like that was something I wanted to print. You don't seem like someone who should be sued over this. Kristen, I'm a little bit confused because we do have the First Amendment. Can't someone say what he wants or not say what he wants? Can you really compel someone to say something he doesn't believe? Well, you're absolutely right. The Constitution protects Blaine and others. It protects the right of creative professionals not to be forced to create messages, to express messages, or to celebrate events that violate their core convictions. And that freedom, if we want that freedom for ourselves, then we have to extend it to those with whom we disagree. I mean, could I be sued for not writing a certain kind of novel or not having a certain kind of guest on this show? I'm, I'm serious. Could well, I be by the left? You're spot on, Tucker, because these kinds of laws will be applied to the left as well as the right. Can a Republican speechwriter be forced to write for a Democrat? We're seeing these laws be applied across the United States, and there's a case right now pending at the Supreme Court that has similar issues, and it's whether someone can be forced to express messages and convey ideas that violate the core of who they are. See, I, I would think that gay rights groups and Christian groups and everyone would agree with what you just said, I, I think. So, uh, Blaine, quickly, how has this affected your life? Five years, you're probably not making millions printing T-shirts. I mean, this has got to be pretty tough on you, I would think. Well, it's just one of those things you kind of get through and, you know, we just continue on doing what we love to do, which is print T-shirts. And we, you know, I love doing what I do, so we just keep keeping on. But, Tucker, one of the unique okay. aspects of Blaine's case is that people of both sides are on Blaine's side. And so right. we do have hope that tolerance is a two-way street here. You know, there, well, and they, and they, they absolutely ought to be. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but I, I really wish you both luck in this. Thank you very much. Blaine Christian. Okay, thank you.